This is Cougar football. It looked like they were giving you a lot of run boxes early. Is the fact that they were able to keep eight guys and still get pressure, did that kind of throw you a little bit today? Uh, I just need to read the field better and uh, do my job better and give us a chance to win. So I thought the defense played good enough today to give us that opportunity, and we just got to finish. It's kind of the same situation we had last week. We just need to finish drives. Have you seen a team <coughs> drop that many guys back in the coverage against the yet? I mean, a lot of teams kind of do that just because we pass a lot, so uh, we see it quite a bit, probably more than most teams. Were, were you surprised at some of the passes that came out of your hand? And were they not going where you wanted them to go? Uh, you know, I just got to I got to be better. Uh, I think I just needed to play the next play a little better than I did tonight, and uh, a lot to a lot to improve on. A lot to, like I said, a lot to improve on. I don't want to make excuses for the weather. It's obviously cold. Did it get more difficult as the game went on to have a feel for the ball? Uh, no, I just I got to get myself prepared. You know, uh, football's a, a cold cold weather game, and I just need to do a better job, and um, I will. When you look back at third downs tonight, one for ten, what do you see there as far as uh, reasons why you guys weren't more successful there? We just got to put the ball in play, and we failed to do that. If we put the ball in play, I think we give ourselves a, a better chance, and we just, just uh, fell short on that tonight. Luke, Kenny loss is tough. How hard is it to watch your rival celebrate on your own field? Uh, it's, it's really tough, and you know every loss is tough, and especially when you're trying to send the seniors out in a, po a positive way, and you can't get it done. It, it's frustrating, and you, know, you kind of look at yourself to, to start with. So, this, so this one hurts. Luke, how difficult was that defensive line? I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, they got some good guys up front, so they're they're a talented group up front. Do, do you feel like if the offense had converted some of those early fourth downs. Just the, the rhythm would be a little bit different. It felt a little easier. No question. It would be a different game. Uh, I mean, we were down on their side first three drives. Uh, we just got to got to finish. Um, if we do that, it's a whole different ball game. And you know, that starts with me. So I need to do a better job. One more for Luke and Marcellus Pippins. Questions for Marcellus. <laughs> Marcellus, how? On those runs early on, or those two long runs, did it? Were they just really well blocked? Were, were people not tackling well enough? Uh, well, I kind of don't really remember those runs, but it was just like the beginning of the game. You know, trying to get a feel for it, but you know, it was just good blocking. We just got to finish our assignments. Did you guys feel that sometimes you might not have been in the right, uh, the right coverage or the right positions when the play was starting? Nah, we we were where we were supposed to be. We just. Didn't execute it the way that we thought we were, and uh, they just got a play off of it. For both of you guys being, you know, pretty young and kind of thrust into things this year, what do you have to accomplish now in the off season? You can't get game experience, but you got to put yourself in position for next season. Just get ready for the next game next year. Just work hard off season, uh, build team camaraderie, and you know, just get bigger, faster, stronger, and then just come back next season hungry, ready for another win. What were some of the challenges facing two different quarterbacks that brought in Jeff Lundquist a couple of times from the secondary standpoint? Well, I didn't really notice because I was locking down my receivers, so I didn't know who were the quarterbacks, really. Luke, you've had a chance to go up against three Pac-12 teams now, see, see how you stand. What do you what do you feel like you need to improve on heading to next year? Yeah, just doing my job uh, as a leader, as a, as a quarterback, just getting our – our uh, offense and position to score. I mean, we just got to finish, and that starts with the quarterback. So, uh, but you know, it was a positive experience. Uh, we we were in all those games, and you know, we're, I think we're going to be pretty good. So, uh, obviously, last year Connor's the guy. This off season, are you going to try and be more of a vocal leader? Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, last one for these guys. I wanted to ask you guys about Gleason as well. Just what that experience is like during him before the game. Uh, just a pretty emotional experience. I mean, that guy has been through so much, and. You know, he just never surrenders, and he just values life so much, and it makes you kind of, you know, look back on, you know, what you appreciate and all the blessings in your life and how blessed you are. I mean, we got to go play a football game tonight. He's not going to be able to, but uh, he's got a great spirit, and he's just a great person and really a great coog. So it's awesome.